What is up everyone? My name is Mariah May. I'm a British pro wrestler who goes by the name The Glamour and I love gaming and making videos. So today's video is all about Animal Crossing. This video is gonna be pretty short and pretty sweet. It's a very simple area. I love making videos showing you my island and detailed looks at areas to kind of help give you inspiration for you guys to give me tips. So this area is very, very small as you can see. And this is just a little pop of red on my island. Now the reason I did this was because I really wanted to get in the red roses. I kind of wanted some of each flower on my island. So, and I really love the red roses. I think they're very pretty. So I kind of made a little bit of a red kind of area here. So everything around it, as you can see, is super pink. That's my color scheme, but this was a little bit different for me. So I thought I should definitely make a YouTube video all about it. So I've just used the in-game path. I think you can't really go wrong with these. I do use these quite a lot on my island. And then I use this custom path to divide it. And I think it's a really good mix because it makes it a little bit more unique and personal. And it kind of, it's more pastel and it matches my island, but it's also simple and it's not too much, especially because I've decorated a lot. I don't want it to look over the top. I just used the in-game path and I've rounded off a few corners. This goes around a heart-shaped pond, so it kind of stuck out to the right quite a lot. But this little brick well worked so nicely. And of course the custom color is so pretty because it's a nice soft red and then of course white, which goes so nicely with literally everything on my island. So I just tucked this into the corner there and it looks really, really nice. And then I have this leaf stool here and I just, I love this leaf stool. If you've seen my island tour, I don't stop talking about it. It was kind of a last minute addition. Originally that and the dog weren't here and it was super empty. So I think these two little details add a little bit more layering to it. They add a bit more life to it. And of course you can actually sit on it. I haven't caught any of my islanders here yet, but I remain hopeful. So yeah, I just popped that in there, mainly because it was red, but also just to add something in and just to fill it out a little bit more. I don't want it to be over complicated because it's actually the pathway to my secret teddy bear picnic. So I don't want it to be like, too much going on and too distracting from everything else around it. And I think it's kind of refreshing to have a little bit more space, but so here we actually have like a campfire. Now this was a complete accident. I didn't have my glasses on and I meant to make a red leaf pile and I accidentally made this, but this is nice because it's actually a little bit smaller. And also it's kind of got that burnt look to it because obviously it's a fire. And I think that's nice. I think the darkness of it and the rusticness actually blends a little bit better with the area. I think the red leaves are a slightly different tone. So there would be too many reds going on. Whereas this is very, rustic it matches over here very nicely and it doesn't take too much away and the focal point is still the roses and the telephone box and then just up here we have the telephone box so as you can see I'll kind of come round I put the wedding fence behind it just to kind of block it off and make it look a little bit fancy I don't know it's just the iconic red telephone box so I wanted to make something of it so I just popped the fencing behind it like that and then obviously I had to put little dogs there I've kind of scattered little dogs <laughs> That sounds really weird, like I'm just throwing the dogs. But I have added little dogs here and there on my island just around and about. I do have a specific dog park, but I thought it was nice to kind of have them here and there. I might swap it out if I get something else, but I think that's best because it's a dog. So it's not like I've placed an item in front of the phone box and it looks a bit weird. It's like an actual dog is just there. So I added in the floor light and with each little area on my island, I normally do add in some floor lights just so that at night you can see it. And then with this one, I went for white just to kind of keep it as plain as possible. I don't want other colors mixing in with it. I like I want it to just be red and brown and very simple. So that is my little red telephone box area. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short and sweet. These videos normally are because I just want to get to the point, tell you how I design things and hopefully give you some ideas and maybe you give me some. If you did enjoy this, please subscribe and turn on notifications for tons more videos just like this and follow me over on twitch.tv slash for more content. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.